Hey Virgo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. We will be doing a dedicated love reading for the sign of Virgo, no matter which placement. Let's get into it. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Nice. You could be married to this person. Could be a 10-year relationship. We have the Three of Swords. Not so nice. Okay, what's going on with that? Libra energy. Somebody could be on the um, Virgo Libra cusp. And then we have the Four of Cups. Cancer energy. Huh. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. So I'm seeing a conflict here. A conflict, a stalemate, somebody stuck. Okay, a Gemini, Libra, Leo, a Sagittarius. It feels like someone you're married to or in a long-term commitment with. Okay. Maybe there was betrayal in a marriage. Hmm. Let's see. The Five of Swords. It says the coffin foretells acute illness or loss of property when near the person. When distant, a probability of averting evil. Hmm. Okay, that's Aquarius energy. What's going on with the um, Three of Swords? So the Five of Swords can talk about needing to watch your back. Dealing with someone who's antagonizing you, intimidating you, bullying you. I don't know if that's someone doing this to you or your person. What's the Three of Swords? Because this could be an ex. This could be a third party. That's what I actually feel like. A third party is being rejected. I do. With the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. The snake. Mm -hmm. That's who this, this is a third party. The snake indicates enmity and calamities. The degree of which is governed by the distance of the card from the person. I feel like you're being protected from a third party. Okay. I feel like they ended something with a third party. Because I'm seeing the number 13, which is the death card. Some of you that's been over the last eight days, something recent, five weeks. It feels like this person has put an end to something and maybe this other person is like a fatal attraction or something. I don't know. What's the four of cups? Because that's rejection. The park foretells a new love when very near. If distant, false friends. So this is the nine of wands. For some of you, you may have recently met someone who was married or in another relationship. I don't know. But there's three people. Okay, Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be 26. Someone's birthday could be the 26th, 13th, 6th, 10th, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Mm -hmm. This is somebody disappointed. The moon when near is a good omen. It predicts fortune when distant in exposure of your secrets. The Five of Cups is disappointment, is sadness, is grief. There is a third party here who's very upset and grieving, Okay. This could be someone they they were going between you and this other person. Yeah, the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy with the seven of pentacles. Okay, let's get into these other cards. So essentially what I'm seeing here is that there is a person that either you are married to that maybe they created a third party situation with someone else and they ended it and the other person's not taking it well. Or you may have walked into a situation with someone who was married already or going through a divorce or whatever they're going through. And this ex is not accepting that, taking it very well. Mm -hmm. So we have the 10 of wands. So you get the eight, nine, and 10 of wands. Strong Sagittarius energy with the number 15, which is the devil. Brawny and bold, here is the bear. Your financial positions, you should be aware. Spend your voice, spend your voices, spend your resources with wisdom and care. Use your power to be strong and fair. They could definitely be going through a divorce. If you're not married to them, they could be going through a divorce and this third party could be the ex-wife or ex-husband. If you are married to them, it feels like for some reason this person is threatening them. It has something to do with money. Maybe they're extorting them. Yep, lady. This charming woman with flowers in her hand, as with the gentleman, her cards will command. The fortunes revealed once the cards have been placed, unveil the fate that destiny trace. Whoever this woman is, strong Libra, She's very calculated, very smart, maybe wickedly wise, okay? And she does represent an ex-wife, y'all. What's the Four of Cups? The Four of Cups is the Seven of Cups. 
the tree. One tree from earth is best to see. It springs from birth good health for thee. And if the tree should reappear, close to the current, your goal is near. So the Seven of Cups does talk about wishful thinking, okay? Somebody fantasizing, somebody being very delusional, if I'm being honest. Okay, so they could be a Scorpio, Cancer, a Libra, and or Sagittarius in your person's, or Aquarius, Leo, in your person's past. That is not taking it too well that they are either leaving them to be with you or maybe coming back to you because they were, you know, cheating with them. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, the stars. Shining stars bright in the sky, bows joy from afar where happiness lies. In starlight, dreams come true. Hope is in sight. Success is in view. And this is healing. Some of you will be healing a connection with your husband, wife, long time, girlfriend, boyfriend. After they have cheated, you two have gone through a tower moment. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be born on the 16th. Someone could be 29, the 15th, the 5th, the 9th. Let's get some advice for you. I am seeing a crazy third party. I'm getting fatal attraction vibes. And let's see what your advice is. We have divine timing. So something here is your fate. It's like it's your fate. It says unveils the fate that destiny traced. It's like you... You are this person's fated partner. And there's someone else here who um, is hurt by that. Not taking it too well. Okay. They feel like they have unfinished business with your person. We have incomplete. This could also be someone feeling incomplete without you. And that, you know, you two are going to heal. Last one, y'all. We have controversy. Interestingly enough, the five of wands is controversy. It's conflict, it's drama. So there's a lot of controversy, you know, involving this third party. Yeah, it feels like they have attached themselves to an incubus or a succubus, okay? But I do see the potential for you to heal if that's what you want. If it's not what you want, that's fine too. But that's what I'm seeing in these cards. I'm seeing maybe um, even someone call off a divorce here. But I do feel like someone is being rejected. A third party is being rejected because someone is choosing you. Okay, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you most likely on Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday. Okay, thank y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.